Alright, what is up YouTube? This is UGA Phoenix coming to you live from the Xbox 360 dashboard. What I have two guests here with me today. I have IE Uno Ladio and I have a friend of mine, Duke. Go ahead and say hello guys. Hello. How's it going? Uh, it's going good guys, it's going good. So anyways, what I have for you guys today is the new Xbox 360 dashboard update. Uh, that's going to be coming out this fall 2012. You guys may have already seen the dashboard update, and you guys may already be participating members of the dashboard update. Uh, but where you guys may have seen it at is from E3 2012 when they were featuring Xbox Smart Glass and uh, Xbox Music coming onto the dashboard. So first thing first, first we're going to go to the home page of the dashboard. All right, so first thing you guys may notice is the two new things on the dashboard. You got My Pins and Recent Activity uh, all posted right there. The My Pins section of it uh, allows you to go into certain areas and customize your home page. That way you don't have to go too many different places at once just to find what you want to look for. As you can see on the My Pins section of it, I have Blaze Blue Continuum Shift set to as one of the games that I play the most. Uh, we're gonna back out of it. Uh, recent activity, uh, you guys can already see a lot of that stuff. Uh, Internet Explorer, Minecraft, so on and so forth. There's a lot. Uh, you you can already tell the difference between the old dashboard and the new dashboard. Uh, first off, it's a lot more darker, a lot more colorful. Uh, the advertisements, if you see it down in the bottom right hand corner, they're a lot smaller. Uh, everything else is just a lot more colorful on it. Uh, you can find stuff a lot easier on it. They've, uh, if you look at the top hand section of the dashboard, uh, you'll notice that they have taken out TV, and they've taken out the video section of the marketplace, and they've combined it into uh, one ginormous thing called TV and movies. They've added Xbox video. They haven't really done a whole lot for that yet. They've also added uh, Xbox music, which if you guys remember, they're shutting down Zune and they're just making it Xbox music now. You're, uh, the same rules still apply for the Xbox music you need. Uh, need to have a membership in order to be able to stream music and videos and whatnot. Uh, it's ten dollars for a month, and it's a hundred dollars for a year, so on and so forth. First thing we're, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the uh, friends section of the uh, the social section of the Xbox dashboard, and we're going to open that up right there. You can already see the huge difference in it. The achievements section of the of the social section is uh, white. Uh, you cause the messages, customize avatar, change theme, they're still the same. Uh, changing the gamer tag is still the same. Uh, you guys should also uh, pay attention to the upper right hand corner of the dashboard. And when you're not in a party, that'll tell you exactly what g your gamer tag is. It'll tell you your the gamer score, and it'll tell you your email address of what uh, of what account that you're logged into go ahead and go over to the game section of the of the dashboard and we're gonna click on my games if, when as soon as you click on it you know to instantly notice everything is different instead of the normal green outline surrounding the games that you have downloaded to your Xbox or disk that you have in your Xbox you have it surrounded by a white uh, outline as you guys can see uh, down at the bottom right hand corner of one of the games you'll notice that it, it is telling you that it is a game you'll see in certain sections of it uh, certain areas like in the my apps section or uh, the uh, recent stuff it'll tell you exactly what it was that you were doing as you can see Xbox uh, music Xbox video and Internet Explorer that lets you know that it was an app that you were using and it's not a game Alright, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and brow uh, browse the games. Now, you guys remember how in the old dashboard uh, you needed to go over uh, into the, on the, the game section of the marketplace just to be able to find what you were looking for. Now, 
everything has its own section. You have the featured section. Uh, you have the coming soon stuff, and that tells you basically uh, what games are going to be coming out soon. As you can see, uh, Transformers Fall of Cybertron, Halo 4, Assassin's Creed 3, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Tomb Raider, all those games coming out soon for the for the Xbox 360. You have the section in stores now. That tells you what games are in stores and are the most popular. Uh, you got Halo Reach, Minecraft, uh, Forza, Modern Warfare 3. And then you got another section called More Games. Uh, you got Gears 3, Battlefield 3, so on and so forth. Now, this right here is a little bit of a glitch because it says it's out in stores now, but it's not. It's Borderlands 2. It's not out in stores yet, so don't let that fool you. Um, then you have the search games. Uh, the search function is still the same. Well, actually, it's a little bit different. You can search for ga uh, games that you want to. They've also incorporated the Bing search engine into the search games section. You can say, you know, Xbox, Bing, Minecraft, and it'll actually bring up Minecraft for you and anything related to Minecraft. Uh, next thing, we're going to go over to the arcade section. Uh, the arcade games has its own section now. I know a lot of people were com actually complaining when the new dashboard update came out. You had to do a bunch of different stuff just to be able to find out where, uh, just to be able to get to the indie games, just to be able to get to the arcade games, just to be able to get to the games on the man. As you can see now, everything has its own dedicated section add-ons, demos, it's even got extras, you know, the making of Halo 4, Elder Scrolls Skyrim, so on and so forth, um, but it, like I said before, everything has its own section now, a lot of people are going to be real happy, especially uh, with this new dashboard update, and I know a lot of people were really, really concerned that uh, Microsoft was trying to squash out uh, indie games and whatnot, but that was not the case. Alright, next we're going to go on to the TV and movie section of it. Um, I know I, I probably said it before, you know, it's not changed a whole hell of a lot. Uh, the video app section is still the same. Uh, there's nothing new yet. You know, it's, it's uh, uh, actually, there is something different. Uh, as some of you may have noticed on the old with the old dashboard, it said regular video player. Now it actually says system video player. The same thing goes for the music section of the dashboard. Uh, going to my music apps, it says system music player, and it says Xbox Music right underneath it. Um, the apps section of the marketplace. When you want to browse apps. Uh, it's everything is still the same as it was before. It's a lot, but it's a lot bigger now than what it was the previous dashboard update. Um, what I'm really looking forward to is the the wealth of apps that are going to be coming out for the Xbox. Every every single app that comes out for the Xbox, I download it. Uh, most recently was the Internet Explorer, which, by the way, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a full frontal view of this uh, of the Internet Explorer. Um, some of you guys, you know, may not be, uh, you know, be entirely too enthused with this. A lot of people were wondering, you know, will we be able to watch Flash stuff? Will we be able to play games on the Internet Explorer like we would on any PC version type game? I'll tell you right now, people, I talked with Bill Gates himself, and he said specifically that the reason why he's not including Flash or Java type stuff in this Internet Explorer is because he doesn't want the Xbox 360s to get infected with viruses like any other uh, Java or browser based stuff. We're going to go ahead and uh, just do the uh, sample thing right here. We're going to go ahead and go to YouTube on the dashboard on the uh, Xbox. Open it up. Now first thing you guys will notice it says right at the top you need to upgrade your Adobe Flash player to watch this video. As soon as you uh, as soon as you go to download it it'll actually tell you give me one second here as soon as you go to download it, it says download from Adobe it'll give you the option to download it but once you get once you actually go to download it now you get this thing that pops up on your screen it says cannot download file Xbox 360 doesn't support downloading files to uh, local storage and once again that is because of the fact that uh, Bill Gates did not want the uh, 
he didn't want the uh, <clears throat> Xbox to get viruses on it. But we're gonna uh, give me one second. Cancel. 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 Fucking oh, the connect. Ah, uh, yes, you gotta love the connect sensor. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna t try something a little bit different. We're gonna try playing a podcast from Major Nelson's website. Let's see if that works right there. Xbox Live Major Nelson podcast. Okay, there we go. All right, click on this and yeah, down. Click and. Download. Now it says it's downloading, but it's not actually. As you guys may notice, it's working perfectly. It's playing uh, a video. F it's actually playing an audio file, which is an MPEG file. Uh, it's working perfectly, doing everything that it's supposed to. There's no lag issues or anything like that whatsoever. Alright, so now we are going to go ahead and exit out of the Internet Explorer as soon as I can get out of it. And we are going to, uh, as soon as I can get the volume back up, we are going to open up the Xbox guide. Now, you guys may notice, uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and let uh, IU and Oladio and uh, Duke volunteer their information about the Xbox guide, what they have so far on yeah. theirs. Um, Duke, would okay. go ahead and give us some information about the, X about the old Xbox guide. <laughs> well, as you know, just slap the button middle, it brings up the regular guide, get the blades on the side. We hear that you see the one on the left that says games and marketplace, like he said, but those are all condensed down into one. So, being just going to see the media, this is, like he said, completely redesigned. It's going to be a little more streamlined, maybe a little prettier, but otherwise, not much. Settings, profile, that's all pretty much the same, and my cat is saying lovely. And, um, as far as the guy goes, that's pretty much about it. They're only condensing the two in the end. And given their media slot a revamp. Uh, yes, as uh, Duke was saying, they have revamped the uh, the uh, Xbox guide. The media section of the uh, of the Xbox guide has been completely redesigned. It's going to have uh, some new things added onto it. It has system video player, system music player, picture viewer, and Windows Media Center all in one. Also. The games and marketplace section of the Xbox Guide is completely gone. Um, it's now just condensed into one big thing called the game section of the Xbox Guide. Everything is the achievements, awards, recent uh, my games, active downloads, redeem codes, so on and so forth. Um, the beacon, there's nothing really much different about the beacons and activity. There's nothing really different about anything else on the dashboard. Um, everything's just a lot more bigger, brighter, and more colorful. <laughs> Um, at, and you, yeah, yes, you got it. It is very shiny. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, let, I don't know. Let Let's just uh, get some questions answered here. Duke, I mean, you got Duke, Ladio. You guys have any yeah, questions? Sure. You guys want to ask? Um, yes. Why do you think Graves is such a cheap ass boss? What? Oh, what get my Scott Pilgrim on here. Uh, otherwise, um. I just want to know, when you use the Internet Explorer, does it take a, uh, will it be able to use a USB keyboard? Or do you have to stick with the little, like, plug and one, or just tap, tap, tap with the stick? Um, that right there I'm not really too sure about. I haven't really tried, uh, tried it out. I do have, uh, an Xbox 360. Are you using it right now? Uh, no, I'm not. Um, I have an Xbox 360 chat pad. I'd be more than willing to try it out as soon as I can find it. I don't know where that is right now. Um, I'm pretty sure it works. It, it will work the same uh, like what it did with the chat pad. Uh, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to use a keyboard, do anything that you want, do, it, do what you were able to do before 
uh, when you had the USB keyboard plugged in or the Xbox 360 chat pad plugged in make typing a hell of a lot easier. <laughs> yes, uh, Ladio was here for the free hoop. Ooh, uh, I forgot to give you guys a demonstration of the Xbox Bing search engine. As you can also, you guys can see, the Bing search engine is a lot different. It's a lot. It, it pops. Out, it's like it pops out at you right now. Um, before it was just you know, eh, it was just sitting there. Now it just pops out at you. You can also search for things by category, like uh, say Xbox Bing comedy. And it'll actually look it up for you. And I'm going to go ahead and do a demonstration of that right now. Xbox Bing comedy. And it's looking it up. And it's looking it. It's looking it up right now. And it's but it's pulling up a lot of stuff. But wait, that is not what I binged for. Xbox Bing comedy. Cancel. Xbox Bing comedy. It's 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 looking for comedy, long uh, you know stuff. It shows at, uh, shows an app, Crackle, uh, shows web videos. Ooh, let's see what it has to show for web videos. Seems like there's a lot of different stuff in uh, different languages. I I don't. There is a dog barking, and it is not mine. Yeah, there. Oh, look at that video. How to get laid. Modern warfare three griefing and trolling. <laughs> There's a lot of different stuff on here. You know, uh, it's it's got you know Big Bang Theory. Uh, it's got uh, two and a half men. I guarantee you, I'm probably gonna be watching that later at night. But, yep, there you go. There's your demonstration of the Xbox 360 dashboard update for fall 2012. I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be joining it. Once again, my name is UJ Phoenix. This is IE No Ladio and Goop. Everybody say goodbye. Goop? I think Goop's having a bit of a technical difficulty here. Goop, are you there? He probably went to go feed his. Uh, either he went to go feed his dog, or he's having some technical difficulties. We'll find out here in a second. Duke, come in, Duke. Duke, this is UGA Phoenix Co calling Duke. Come in, Duke. Oh, obviously he's not. Obviously he's not here at the moment. So I'm just gonna say this. I'm signing off right now. I'll have this video posted here in a few minutes. Hope you guys like it. See ya.